And I will start today's webinar. Um, so good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Elaine from Hike Vision UK and Ireland. So I am product manager of Hike Vision Access Control and Video Intercom products. Um, so today um, I'll give you a, a very brief uh, introduction on our access control system uh, to help you understand um, uh, our product range and also uh, the highlights of the access control products. Um, um, so with that knowledge, uh, then you, you will be able to um, design an access control system. Um, so the webinar, uh, I will cover um, uh, in general these um, contents. So first of all, I will um, give you an overview of our access control systems. And then uh, uh, secondly, uh, I will go through the uh, core products. Uh, such as uh, controllers, uh, readers, um, and also uh, our face recognition terminals. Um, in other words, MIMO terminals, that's the nickname that we uh, gave to our face recognition terminal. And uh, in the last part, um, I will um, show you very simple uh, access control system examples. Uh, so give you an, a general idea of how to uh, design an access control system using high vision products. Um, so first of all, uh, this is a very uh, typical access control topology. Uh, in, so here we have the, on the left, sorry, um, I'm, I'm looking for my mouse there. So uh, on the left side here, we have the controller, uh, which basically is the main brain of any access control system. So this access control system is all controlled by uh, this, this controller here. Uh, and you can see all the readers, locks, and, and exit buttons have connection to the controller. And then the controller, our controller is an IP-based controller. So it connects to the network. And then we have the software um, to centralize, manage the controller. Uh, so the, all the permissions um, will be downloaded from the software through the network to the controller. And the controller will save all the permissions. Um, so once you have a card presented at a card reader, the card number uh, will be uploaded to the controller and the controller will look into its database to check whether that card is authorized, uh, whether that card is authorized or not. If it is, then the controller talk to the lock and then open the door like that. Okay, and so that's a very traditional, typical access control system controlled by the controller. Um, and then uh, we have a variety of uh, readers to choose from, including the fingerprint reader as well. Uh, so you'll also see different uh, read options uh, later. And I'll also introduce the controller part a bit later as well. Uh, so this is one uh, system. So another system, which on the right, you can see we don't have a controller here on the right. Um, that's because this terminal, we call this terminal, this terminal is kind of like a small brain of the access control system. Uh, so that this terminal can also control, uh, control the door, oh, sorry, can also control the, the locks. So you can see this uh, terminal is also an IP system, uh, the same as the controller. And then the terminal is connected to a secure module. And then secure module is connected to the locks and readers on a different direction and exit buttons. And so this actually tells you that the terminal can control only one door at a time. Um, and so the secure module in between is actually an optional uh, products. So you can uh, so it, you, you can also don't have the secure module um, and and uh, then if you don't have the secure module the readers on a different direction the locks and exit buttons then can be direct di directly connected to the terminal. Um, but in this case um, because the terminal can also be used as an entrance reader so they can use the card reader card on the card reader on the terminal as well to get access. And uh, so this, this terminal is installed uh, beside the door 
And if it is broken by someone, then without the secure module, the locks, uh, the, lock, the lock will be open for, for, the, for the people. So that's why we recommend a secure module to install in between the locks and the terminal. Uh, and it, it is separately powered and it is installed on the safe side of the door. So if the terminal is down, then the secure module can still keep the door locked. So, so that's the name, why the name secure module. Um, so the, also you can see the difference uh, between the terminal and the controller is that the controller can control uh, multiple doors at the same time, but then the terminal is only one door uh, only. Uh, so for the controller, we have one door controller as well, and two door controller and the four door controller. So you, you can have a four door controller to control four doors uh, at the same time. Okay. And, but then all the controller and the terminal, they are IP based system. So you need to use the network um, to, to, to connect to the network and then manage via the uh, software. So on the software side, looking for my mouse there. So on the software side, uh, you can then have a card enrollment station um, and a fingerprint enrollment station, uh, just a USB uh, connection to the PC. Uh, and then we also have uh, an all-in-one enrollment station, uh, which can help you to enroll the face uh, card and also fingerprint. So it's an all-in-one um, enrollment station, which can be connected to the network. And you can add this uh, via IP to the software management system, software. Okay, so this is the typical um, um, access control system. And then uh, the connection between the readers and the controller, if you are uh, very familiar with the access control system, is either via Wigand or IS45. Um, so IS45 is our own protocol. Uh, but then using Wigand, you can then connect to third-party readers as well uh, if they support Wigand 26 or 34. Okay, uh, so this is a brief um, uh, introduction of the system. And then uh, this shows you the uh, ac our access control product family. We have the uh, controller, uh, the big brain of the access control system, and then there comes and then together with the controller, uh, we offer different varieties of uh, readers as well. And then for the terminals, um, we have this uh, Mingmo terminal. So the face recognition terminal is our star product in all the terminals. So also today I will uh, focus more on the Mingmo terminal here. So the other terminals, uh, we, uh, it supports cards uh, and then also we have the fingerprint terminal as well. So it all depends on your requirements, whether you need a card or fingerprint or a face or all, all in one. So then the uh, Mingmo terminal is a good option and also Mimo terminal can provide with a touch free access which is a very popular these days so um, then uh, come to the more details on the controllers uh, we have uh, this uh, pro series controller which can offer you one door two door this is one door controller and two door controller and the four door controller uh, so it's an ip system and uh, you can see from the topology here, you can connect to the card readers either by RS45 or weekend connection. And also it offers some, some advanced access control functions, or which, are, which I will explain a bit later. Um, uh, so the controller supports more cards storage. So it can support uh, locally uh, 100,000 cards uh, storage and 300,000 events storage. Okay, um, so for, for, for our four door controller, you can, um, you can connect to up to eight readers. So that means all the four doors uh, can do uh, reading and read out. Um, but then there's a limit here. So all the readers, uh, if you're using four door controller, you need to use RS45 wiring. So that's actually gives you um, also here on the, on the, on the, uh, slide gives you an understanding between the difference of weekend and uh, RS45. So on the graph here, you can see a uh, weekend is always from the controller to the reader, from the controller to the reader. So it's a one-to-one -one connection. 
But then RS45, you can use daisy chain in using RS45. So that means you can connect wire from controller to the one reader and then to another reader and then to another reader. Um, so that's why the RS45 wiring, you only need uh, four ports on the controller to support all the eight readers. But then if you're using Wigand controller, uh, Wigand wiring, excuse me, uh, then you need, uh, for each reader, you need eight ports on the um, board to support one reader. So if you have four reader, there, is, there are already a lot of space for that four readers. Uh, so that, that's why we uh, kind of limit the numbers of the Wigand readers in our four-door controller. But then for the two-door controller, you can still use it for two doors, reading, read out, uh, whatever the wiring. So also the Wigand wiring on the two-door controller, you can have four readers as well. Okay, so the limit is only on the four-door controller. If you want eight readers, then uh, you need to use RS45 wiring. Uh, and another difference between uh, them is also the dif is also in the different uh, distance. So for the weekend wiring, the distance between the controller to the reader is uh, normally, I feel, is 100 meters. But then um, maybe in practice, it's uh, less than um, maybe 80, 80 meters. But then for RS45 wiring, you can have uh, up to 1,200 meters, I feel. So that's 1,200 meters is from the controller to the last reader in the in the whole daisy chain connection okay but then if you want to use um, third party readers then uh, it's only weekend uh, use um, and then for the RS45 you can um, uh, so currently we also uh, support OSDP so you can also connect to other third party readers that support OSDP uh, you are using RS45 and uh, so another feature of the RS45 wiring is that you can have this whole loop uh, 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 wired. So if you have that loop, uh, this loop, and then if you have, if this is cut, then the other part can still keep the reader uh, online. Okay, um, so inside the controller, we also have uh, the space for the backup battery. Uh, so um, it's uh, you need to purchase locally. Uh, then we have a certain space in the in the in the controller for the backup battery. Um, so the controller also supports uh, alarm alarms alarm inputs. So you can uh, connect to the um, alarm uh, the um, detectors, and then our controller can monitor the status. And so the this is the fire alarm uh, relay. Uh, which is built in the controller. So that fire alarm relay can be connected to third party fire alarm system. Uh, in case of fire uh, alarms, then uh, um, the controller will cut off the lock power uh, so that uh, the, the doors will open in this in fire incident. Um, so some other advanced functions. So I, I'll uh, talk briefly through that. Um, so for example, um, multiple authentication, so you can manage, um, so you can set up the system, excuse me, so you can set up the system to um, not only uh, authenticate by one card, but it requires multiple cards to uh, gain access. So for example, staff cards, and then followed by management uh, cards, then they can access. Um, and then an an anti-passback, uh, that means you can um so also you need uh, the users to follow the pre-configured path um for, uh, for for that purpose otherwise if they don't follow that path then they cannot uh, use in other access points so the access control point means the uh card, card reader um so for example single anti single door anti passback that means if you enter the door and if you don't exit uh by by using your card, you cannot gain enter access again. So that prevents you from giving your card to other people to gain access. And then the, uh, the interlock function. Uh, so multi-door interlock, for example, two doors, you must make sure the first door is closed to 
to, uh, to get access to the second door. So that's the multi-door interlock. So those functions is available on our access controller um, as, and uh, which may not be available on our terminals. So I will explain this a bit later uh, as well. Um, so for the readers, uh, we have uh, displayed here all the varieties of readers that we support. Uh, so normally this is our uh, uh, vendor resistant card reader, uh, which is IK10 level. So that's uh, suitable for external installation. Um, and all the uh, card reader that is, is here IP65 can be used externally as well. Um, so the, uh, all our card readers, uh, we have two different models. Uh, with keypad or without keypad. So here you, you, you see all the, all the models with keypad, but we also offer the same uh, appearance without uh, the keypad. It all depends on the model name. Um, so also uh, we have two uh, different uh, models uh, that can support two different cards. So we support uh, either EM cards, uh, EM card or MiFi one card. So that's two different uh, card frequencies that we support. So uh, you need also, also to make sure that the card reader uh, matches with the cards as well. So that also depends on the, the card type, also depends on the model name as well. Um, and uh, another, another thing that I want to highlight here is also about the installation. Uh, so for the installation, uh, if you see here the uh, GAN box, that means it only supports surface mount. Um, and so, 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 so this, this one, for example, the, the 1107 uh, only supports uh, surface mount. Uh, so it does not support flush mount. Also, this one does not support flush mount. Okay. And then uh, for our MIMO terminals, uh, we have um, also a, a lot of series in our MIMO terminal family, our face recognition family. So we have the small compact series, uh, which only allows uh, 300 faces, and this is uh, internal use only. And then we, if you want for external usage, uh, you have the pro series and ultra series. So they look exactly the same. The only difference is their face storage. So the Pro Series only support 5,000 faces and Ultra Series support 20,000 faces. Uh, so, but they can all be used for external installations as they are all IP65. Uh, and the difference between the Pro, Ultra and the Compact Series is that the Pro and Ultra also support a video intercom function, which can call the indoor station uh, so that people from inside can also open the door for you. Um, yeah, and then we also offer a barrier, barrier series, uh, which also allow for allow 20,000 faces that can be used for third party turnstiles as well, as it supports a weekend and IO output from the face terminal. Um, so it basically provides also the same functions as the Ultra and the Pro series with the video intercom function as well. And they, uh, they all have the cameras on, 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 on the terminal. So that cameras can also be added to the recorders for 24 seven live view and the recording. And for external installation, we also offer the uh, bracket, the rain shoot to go with it. And for the uh, Pro and Ultra series, uh, there is also the uh, floor stand that can uh, help with the installation. So if you want, don't want a surface mounting, then you can also use the floor stand um, to gain access. Okay. Okay. Topology-wise, um, our MIMO terminal, as I mentioned uh, in the very beginning, uh, it can be used to control one door only. Uh, so you can either use it just to uh, lock one door without the secure module. So you can connect to the card reader directly and the secure module uh, uh, and the locks directly and then connect to the network. Or if you want a more secure uh, uh, scenario uh, environment, then you can add in the secure module and that can be used to uh, lock uh, connect directly to the lock and then connect to the card reader on a different direction 
Um, and in this case, if this is down, the secure module will still keep the lock uh, locked. Okay. And then for the um, uh, for another different application, uh, you can also uh, wire our uh, MIMO terminal to the controller in this case. And in this case, this uh, MIMO terminal is not a terminal anymore. It will be working as a reader to the controller. Um, so um, as I mentioned, the terminal can uh, also just used to be uh, to lock the door. That's why we uh, also suggest uh, this topology. Uh, that's, that's because um, the, the advanced access control functions that I mentioned, the multi-door interlock, um, like multi-door anti-passback, for example, is only supported on our controller, uh, not on the uh, MIMO terminal. Uh, so if in those uh, require if if in projects that require those pro uh, those functions, uh, then you will need to wire our uh, MIMO terminal to the controller and uh, make the terminal working as a reader, not a not a terminal. Also, this uh, gives you another insight into how we can integrate with other third-party controllers. Um, so, as we our terminal MIMO terminal supports a Wigand wiring, uh, so if other third-party controllers also support Wigand 26 or 34, we can, we can also wire our MIMO terminal to the third-party controller uh, using Wigand connection. Uh, then the card number can also be transmitted via the weekend connection back to the third party controller as well. Okay, uh, so some features on the MIMO terminal. Uh, all the MIMO terminal uh, supports deep learning algorithm. Uh, so that algorithm uh, gives, uh, gives it's, it's very powerful face recognition speed. So anytime during day or uh, in the daytime or during the nighttime, the performance is uh, is the same. So uh, we have a video here to show you. And this is the daytime recognition. So it uh, merely takes less than 0 0.2 seconds per person to recognize the, the face. And also in the nighttime, we have another video showing you that. So once the lady, sh uh, walks up to the terminal, it shows, it recognizes her face right away. So the duration is also just less than 0 0.2 seconds. And um, so on the terminal, uh, you can see there's a dual lens. So that's used for the face anti-spoofing. Um, so if you use just a picture, uh, to recognize your face, you cannot gain access because the dual lens is looking for a 3D um, information of the face in front of it. So you can see also this uh, example here. So the, the lady showed her picture, but it doesn't gain access. So it says authentication failed. Okay. And so uh, the video intercom function, as I mentioned, uh, you can use our face terminal to call our indoor stations. Uh, so this is our second generation indoor station. Uh, we also have the uh, first generation indoor station here. You can see it calls the second generation and also it can call the High Connect app as well. Uh, you can open the door directly from the app and you can also open the door from the uh, indoor station as well. Uh, so that's that's uh, that's the video intercom function of the MIMO here. So this is the first generation. You can also talk to the person, and you can also remotely unlock the door from the indoor station as well. So uh, not only the indoor station, you can also call the master station, and you can also call uh, our software. So if you have a PC with our software from the terminal, it can also call that software as well. But please note this function is not supported on our uh, compact series, so that small MIMO terminal, only on the Pro and Ultra and the Barrier series. Okay. Um, so another feature on the uh, High Connect app, uh, so working with High Connect app, you can also directly 
add this terminal to the app uh, without the indoor station. So previously, the call function requires the indoor station. But then this, in this case, uh, it doesn't require an indoor station. Uh, you can directly add the terminal to the app. So in this case, you can see uh, she opened the High Connect app. Uh, and then she can see the live view of the terminal, Mimo terminal, and then open the door for her colleague. And you can also view the uh, event logs of that terminal on the High Connect app as well. But uh, if you if you just use use the terminal, you cannot have the call function uh, to the app. Uh, so you can only see the live view and open the door from the app. If you want to have the call function uh, to call to the app, then you need to add our indoor station. Okay, so in, in this case, you need to have the indoor station in this case. Okay, so this is uh, the, uh, uh, the barrier series. Uh, so we have three different uh, modules for barriers. So it all depends on your preference, which look you would like, uh, but they all have the same functions, uh, same uh, performance, uh, all very powerful face recognition. Okay, um, so other access control accessories. Uh, so this is a secure module, as I uh, previously mentioned, uh, that can be worked with, uh, can be used to work with uh, terminals. Uh, so this is only is only used to work with terminals, not the controllers, because the controller is already installed in some safe safe room, IT room, um, and do not need the secure module. Uh, so the secure module is only used for the terminals. Okay, and then uh, the, from the secure module, you can only connect to weakened card readers. Just some extra information um, for you. And then for the enrollment station, we have uh, one for, uh, so we have one card enrollment station. So it's very easy uh, to choose if you want a card enrollment. And then one fingerprint enrollment station and then uh, another all-in-one enrollment station. So for the all-in-one one, we have the, uh, so in this case, it's the face card and the fingerprint. But we also have another one, same look, uh, but with uh, only face and card, so no fingerprint. If you don't need fingerprint, then you just order the model without F at the end. Okay, so the F means it has a fingerprint module. So that's the all-in-one enrollment station. Uh, other accessories, we also offer the exit button, uh, especially this, uh, this, this one, it, this and this one is a touch-free and exit button. Uh, so you don't need to touch at all as well. And also we offer other accessories like locks as well. Uh, so you can find all that on our website as well. Um, so to work, to, to make the access control system work, a very essential uh, component is the software. So for the software side, we offer our free software, IVMS 4200. Uh, so we have two different IVMS 4200 uh, as shown here. One is IVMS 4200, which has uh, the management ability to, to, to all our high vision products, uh, including cameras and recorders. Uh, so it's an all-in-one uh, software. Uh, but if you don't have the cameras and the recorders, if you need if you don't need to manage that, you can use our IVMS 4200 AC version. So AC means access control. So the AC version, uh, you cannot use cameras and recorders, but you can use AC version to uh, manage the access control system and also video intercom system. Uh, so that's, uh, the AC version is um, much lighter in installation. Uh, so uh, so that's, that's why we have that just uh, for a small project that only requires access control and the video intercom, no need for the cameras. Um, so they can, so the, the uh, free software allows uh, 3,200 a person uh, management and 64 doors. So if you have a larger uh, doors and, and more uh, users, then you need to go to the Hike Central Pro our license-based uh, management software or platform. Uh, so the Hack Central Pro is a client server-based uh, platform. Uh, so that means you have a server in the control room and you can have multiple clients, so multiple PC connecting to that server. Uh, so you have multiple 
um, PC managing the same access control system at the same time. Um, so because access control system, uh, uh, unlike CCTV, uh, it can only be managed by one software. So either IVMS 4200 or Hack Central Pro. So you cannot manage the same access control system uh, by two different software. Uh, so if you if you require multiple clients managing the same access control system, then you must use Hack Central Pro. If you but don't need multiple clients and if you just need one pc to manage the access control system and if it's a small scenario uh less than 64 doors less than 3200 users then rvms 4200 will be a uh, ideal option uh, and another feature on the hack central pro is that it also comes with an app it's the hack central app uh, so it's uh if you uh, purchase the license on hack central pro app also can work so the app is just like a client uh, connecting to that server uh, so we can also receive the access control events on the app as well okay um so uh so the last part um i will give you some very simple uh solutions examples uh so the very first is uh, uh just a controller based uh, access control system and uh, i i just showed a photo system so you can have our controller the 2604t controller uh, which connect to all the card readers and then also all the exit buttons and also the locks to control the door um, so this in in this case uh, we are using the uh, is 45 connection so it's a daisy chain connection so uh, i i didn't in, uh, add another two doors but it's the same thing uh, so the access control system is connected to the network and managed by the uh, software. So it can be the IBMS 4200 uh, software. So it's a very simple full door system, uh, entrance by card and exit by but exit button. Uh, so all you need is just our controller and, and then the readers and then the exit button and the locks and then also the card enrollment station. Okay. And, and uh, another solution, if you want all the doors to be reading readout, uh, then you can uh, just replace the access button by uh, another card reader. And then all the card readers is uh, using IS45 connection. So you can have eight readers connecting to that four door controller. Yeah, so if you have more doors, uh, of course, you can add in another controller. Uh, and then all the controller uh, need to be uh, networked. So it needs to be connected to the to the network and then a centralized centrally managed by our software. So of course the card enrollment station uh, you will need for the card access as well. Okay. Um, so for uh, for for face uh, access solution, um, I, I give you a very uh, another example here. So in this example, you see that we have. The door, small door, just one door controlled by the uh, Mimo terminal. So it can uh, can can do that. Just one door by Mimo terminal, um, and then we have another door, another two doors controlled by the controller. And then the Mimo terminal is wired to the controller, and uh, work, and those two ter uh, Mimo terminals is are working as a reader to the controller uh, so uh, so uh, so this in this case uh, maybe these two doors uh, we need multi-door interlock so those two doors can have the two-door interlock function using our controller um, but then you can also use you can uh, use the face to gain access as well so they are all ip based so you need to just use a network cable connect them to the same network and then managed centrally by one software. So in the in uh, yeah yeah by the software, and then uh, you can also have this all in one enrollment station and to enroll the face, to enroll the cards, to enroll fingerprints. Uh, this also connect to the network as well. Okay, uh, another uh, another one is the face uh, recognition terminal for the barriers. So that can also be networked. 
So all the information will also be uh, uh, go back to the central uh, management software. So that software has the same database for all the all the terminals and also the controllers. So they share exactly the same database and centrally managed uh, here. You can uh, download, uh, you can uh, then search for events and then um, uh, generate uh, time attendance reports if you would like, uh, all from the software side. Okay, um, that's that's all I would like to share with you today. So we've um, go through the very basic access control uh, top topology uh, with um, our access controller and readers, and then a single door system uh, that is controlled by our terminals. And if it's more complex uh, situation that require advanced access control functions, then uh, you can go for uh, you can combine the controller and the terminal 